we're not pointing fingers here. It's very understandable why we don't care about prisons. We have abs every, every excuse not to care about prisons, as prisoners are often portrayed as different to us. Um, I think in the past five years, we've moved towards having more sensible conversations, but I think that's because we hit a critical point where we couldn't ignore the, the huge proportion of Americans that were hit by this system, one in 100 adults. Prison photography has been a multi-year unraveling research project um, that I took on just out of personal interest, exploration, and fortunately a lot of people have been interested in this strange niche subject and unique approach. What goes on in prisons 99% of the time is insane boredom and 1% of the time is extreme violence. In neither case does an outside photographer get to see that. The reason I've included all the works in this show is comes from a suspicion, possibly, that if a photographer is in a prison, they are there at the invitation of the prison authority, and so there's an argument to be made that they are an armature, an extension of the prison's power. So to look at projects which get around that, I think, creates more interesting conversations. I think it's valuable as well to bring these topics to the younger generation and at a place like Haverford where the students are critically engaged and urged because of its Quaker history to think about social justice. Um, why not bring it here? It makes absolute sense when, when you put it in those terms. I don't think it's a show you can breeze through. You have to really work and understand the context in which the images were made and what purpose they served then, potentially what purpose they can serve now uh, as being objects in the gallery. The camera in prisons is always a security tool. It's used to maintain um, a power relation. I think a camera can be used for storytelling and for people to weave their narrative and I think it can be used in art and, and has rehabilitative worth.